My talk today will be about uh, trying to improve outcomes after failed implementation with BEAT, ICSI. Uh, since uh, 1978, when the first IVF baby was born, Louisa Brown, by the, uh, uh, by the involvement of uh, the great embryologist, Dr. Bob Edwards, uh, the milestone According, uh, I think that the milestone of the uh, art uh, technologies was the ICSI intracytoplasmic sperm injection. <laughs> the ICSI was introduced uh, by Palermo in 1992. The technique became rapidly very successful and by achieving relatively high pregnancy rate, it serves as the main tool for treating couples who could not conceive due to male infertility. ICSI currently is the most efficient assisted reproductive technology to assist fertilization, not only for male factor. One spermatozone is aspirated into a microinjection needle and injected into the cytoplasm of the oocyte. ICSI became a, a routine laboratory a procedure a, and the pregnant, a reported pregnancy rate following the ICSI vary between 30 to 50% and higher. So actually the, uh, we have got a half a full glass and the, uh, we wish to, to join and to, to fill this glass on the upper part as well. How can we do it? Much efforts are invested in improving cultural conditions as the, it was also discussed in this conference, like improving cultural media, incubators, individual incubators, quality of the air, conversion of technologies into AI and many other things. A, we, ha we should not forget that we have got two uh, partners for, for, for the dance. The first one is the oocyte. It was accepted that oocyte in the storage, uh, is the storage for all enzymes for the need of the developing pre-embryos. Moreover, the oocyte was considered as the main supplier of messenger RNA for the synthesis of proteins which are needed for the initial development of the early embryo. However, the quality of the oocyte or improving the quality of the oocyte is a little bit doubtful because the quality of the oocyte is an intrinsic characteristic. All we can, we, what we can see is if the all maturational events occur, like a break, GB breakdown, appearance of the pervitylene space, secretion of first polar body, but if the oocyte looks okay and not fragmented, we cannot distinguish between good one or less good one. Sperm cell plays a major role in the journey of a couple to fulfill its wish for the child. Actually, when we started ICSI, it was accepted that sperm is just a carrier of father's genes to the oocyte. In 2005, in Nature, it was published that sperm contains, it was like a surprise, sperm contains almost 3,000 different kinds of messenger RNA, which were coded for proteins that are needed for early embryo development. Others are still unknown and have no equivalent in the oocyte. So sperm quality is of the greatest importance in the time of fertilization, in determining the quality of the developing embryo, and nevertheless, in the potential of the embryo to develop into a viable fetus. Scientists have indicated that paternal effect is influencing the formation of blastocysts. Several points of negative impact, both genetic and epigenetic, have been identified in embryos following ICSI a procedure. In fact, how can we know if uh, 
a, a sperm is good or, or, or less good, we have got only morphology. But morphology of the sperm, especially the sperm head, describes only the packaging of the paternal DNA. On the other hand, morphology yet is the only tool to evaluate the quality of the sperm cell selected for the oocyte in, uh, injection. On the other hand, it has been reported that routine morphological criteria that we all know do not reflect on the real potential of the spermatozoan during ICSI. In 2003, the group of divorce performed a very uh, important in investigation. They observed, they made an observation on embryos that resulted of each individual injected sperm. Reduced implantation rates were observed when the embryos resulted from the injection of ab abnormal sperm when st were transferred. These investigators admitted that the low magnification, which means magnification of 400 when they did ICSI, and the low resolution of the sperm morphology assessment on the, of the motile spermatozoa before ICSI were the limiting factors of their study. So one of the main, concern, the main concerns of ICSI is actually to aspirate a good quality spermatozoan for micro-injection into an oocyte. However, during our routine work, spermatozoa are randomly chosen and their selection is based on rough morphological aspects and motifs. And ACE, it is accepted that the routine morphology uh, characteristic may not necessarily describe the quality of this specific single spermatozoan that was injected to the oocyte. In 2002, we had a paper which was a breakthrough in andrology uh, about the real uh, time fine morphology of motile human sperm cells, which was associated with the outcome of ICSI, uh, uh, of, uh, of ICSI in the IVF field. It was followed by another uh, work that pregnancy rates were higher with intracytoplasmic morphologically selected sperm injection, which means IMSI, the IMSI was born, then with conventional ICSI. In these, in these works, it was demonstrated that a normal spermatozoan with a normal nuclear, a nuclear shape observed under the magnification of 6,000 in real time might increase embryo quality in terms of implantation. So what is actually IMSI? Uh, I like very much uh, when uh, Rajvi explains it, she, sa she says, IMSI is to see. Actually, we are using a high power in, a inverted light microscope with a zoom up to 6,000 uh, and more. Uh, for instance, if we look at this field, we see the flowers. And when we are zooming at one flower, we see more details in its leaves. The same applies with the moon, for instance. And the same applies with the sperm. When you see it under the magnification of 400, it's not the same, and you can see more details under the magnification of six, uh, uh, of more than 6,000. So the MC image is actually a combination of the magnification of the objective, the camera adapter, ratio between the diagonal screen size in millimeter and the diagonal of the camera chip size in millimeter, and internal magnification of the microscope. Uh, we termed it, uh, uh, Barak and Ellen Bogen, it was published already, we termed it as the on-screen image, as the image might theoretically increase in size due to a larger screen. Uh, so we suggested it that it should be an on-screen image, it's not, an ob it's not the objective. So the final values of the on-screen image are the amplification of existing details on the surface 
of the sperm cell image. Most of these details are not observed by the routine uh, 200 to 400 magnification in XC due to objective limitations of the human eyes. So we try to score the sperm and to find which are the scores that are good and promising higher, a, a, a higher a fertilization, a moreover, higher implantation rates. In 2009, uh, we published a, a, a paper in the fertility and sterility of, with, a real, uh, with a new real-time morphology classification for human spermatozoa. In this study, we aim to understand the correlation between the normalcy of the sperm, fertilization, and early embryo development using the expansion of the blastocyst as an endpoint. Uh, we divided the sperm into three classes, class one, two, and three, and a pairwise comparison of the fertilization rate showed a significant difference between the group one, a class one, and class three. Higher fertilization rate were with class a, a, a one, the higher. Moreover, uh, when we uh, looked at the expansion of the blastocyst, no expanded blastocyst uh, uh, was observed when they injected, uh, after following the injection with class three, the, uh, the red one is of the sperm. So we wanted to establish a detailed classification uh, due to scoring, a scoring scale for choosing, for choosing the spermatozoan with the highest predictive fertilizing potential in real time of the injection. Actually, we wanted to see which defect can affect, and we checked a uh, various uh, criteria like the uh, shape of the head, the shape of the uh, of the neck, the tail, and what the, we, what we performed was a study that reported the follow up of a single specific, specific spermatozoan uh, that was morphologically evaluated under high magnification. Uh, prior to its injection, and it's matched developing early embryo. In this, uh, 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 in this study, we had the logistic regression uh, of the fertilization as dependent variab variable of the motile uh, sperm classification. And uh, the area under the curve, which was 0.6, uh, enabled us to uh, make a to find a formula uh, which which uh, which can define the score with the score was two times the shape of the head two times a uh, three times vacuole and the base for instance if the head was okay so the sperm got the uh, score of two and then if there were no vacuoles the sperm got a, a, the score, a another three points and where there were vacuole, it got zero, so there were no, uh, no score for the vacuoles. And then the base was, uh, if the base is okay, the connection between the tail and the head, it got uh, the, uh, the score of one. So the range of scoring for the pre-injected spermatozoan varied between zero up to six. Six was the best one. Sorry. So, this is a four to six sperm, uh, uh, sperm, sperm cells, which means the head is okay, so we got two points. And then there are no vacuoles, three points, so it's five altogether. And the uh, connection to, between the tail to the head is the one point, so it's six. And uh, on the other hand, we've got zero. Uh, so this is a very bad sperm. Now, I don't know if I've got time, I've got a, 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 a slight movie, so the moderator should tell me, uh, I've got a, a, a short movie, how do we do it in the lab? Should I show it? Yeah. It's about three minutes. I will try to run it faster. Uh, we are going to explain you how we are going to do uh, the selection of the sperm cells uh, for a... Uh, so in this movie, 
we are explaining how we do it in our lab. We are at service lab. Freshly ejaculated sperm is centrifuge for approximately 360 G for 10 minutes. In cases when sperm concentration is less than 5 million per milliliter, centrifugation is performed for 15 to 30 minutes. The pellet is resuspended in 0.5 of sperm preparation medium, further assessment is performed by using the bilayer density gradient, 0.5 milliliter of 80% and 0.5 milliliter of 55% of super sperm gradient are centrifuge for 15 minutes. In severe oligospermic cases, 0.3 milliliter of each of the gradient layers is used and suffocation in 300G should last up to even one hour. Sometimes you even do not see anything on the bottom. Don't uh, get nervous. If you did the, the centrifuge with the garlic uh, not enough, like half an hour or one hour, then if you take the pellet. Maybe I should explain you after. I don't want to take some so much time of the... Uh, so uh, by the end of the process, we have got a dish with droplets, and uh, uh, this is going to the IVF lab. Uh, one of the questions that, uh, using our experience, uh, and uh, we were asking uh, ourselves, uh, Professor Ellen Bogen and myself, uh, writing the, our uh, last uh, paper, uh, uh, the question was, was, when should we use IMC? In order, of course, to help uh, uh, these failed couples or the uh, or to conceive. So although IMC seems as a promising technique in terms of improving the outcome of its treatment, we should take into consideration the following. First of all, this is a prolonged sperm manipulation. Uh, we need for it spatial instrumentation and additional number of the embryologists. On top of it, uh, the, the learning curve of the embryologist is very, very low. Now, all of it, it has the additional cost for the patient, and these all might increase the cost effectiveness, effectiveness of the procedure. So it seems that there is no advantage to recommend MC as a routine procedure for the entire population referred to X. So to whom should we recommend it? So first of all, to couples with repeated implantation failures. Uh, then to cases of severe male factor infertility, which is known already from, uh, from 2000. And then advanced male age, more than 41 years old, and advanced maternal age, in combination with bad sperm quality. For this, I would like to comment that uh, a, a young oocyte has got the uh, ability to repair the, sp the bad sperm. Moreover, when, uh, we, uh, when we have done our paper from uh, 2010, uh, we, we, in this paper, it is reported that uh, in young uh, patients, uh, it is. Uh, it does. It, uh, it makes no sense to uh, to make IMC when uh, until the age of thirty years old. So I would like to share with you a, a slide of our results because we are a, a service lab and uh, we can use, we cannot use all the results of our patients, but. Uh, we, we are working to, uh, in cooperation with Arcelia Medical Center and two doctors from the medical cen center uh, are kind enough to share it with us because we are happy about every, uh, every uh, pregnancy. So out of 29 cycles uh, of 23 patients, uh, we have got fertilization of the known one, because some we don't know, is 56%. Uh, pregnancies that we know out of this uh, group is 10. There were five deliveries, including one uh, twins. One delivery after eight 
failed its attempts. They conceived in the third in C cycle. They delivered and conceived again following in C. They've got one daughter and one is a boy. Uh, now twins conceived on the second attempt. Uh, these are very close uh, twins because they, they are the, uh, the granddaughters of uh, my assistant. Uh, they, uh, the couple conceived on the second attempt. We found only seven good spermatozoa uh, after nine hours of searching. Uh, we have got one 40 years old uh, lady that conceived with the frozen eight cell single embryo. Uh, to, they, she had got only two. They, uh, she was afraid to transfer both of them, so she uh, conceived at the second attempt. Another ongoing twin pregnancy, they've got previous eight cycles with no fertilization. Uh, one was even with a ionophore. Uh, the first MC attempt, they've got fertilization of uh, eight out of 13. And uh, another ongoing twin pregnancy with very poor sperm morphology. So these are our twins. I've got the permission of the parents uh, to show them. And uh, all of us would like to thank you so much for your attention. Uh, I would also like, I'm sorry, to, to thank mm -hmm. our, my colleagues, Dr. Guy Gutman and Professor Ellen Bogen, uh, because this uh, uh, data belongs also to them and to the IVF lab of uh, HMC, which we cooperate with them very happily.